Mercedes Mayor Lassay, who is the president of the World Organization for Early Childhood Education and who is the professor uh, for Early Childhood Education at the University of Buenos Aires. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Gracias. Voy a hablar en español. Eh, en primer lugar, quiero agradecer al Instituto Psicológico de la Academia. Большое спасибо. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I uh, thank uh, the uh, psychology faculty of the Moscow State University and uh, others, uh, all the organizers, for making it possible for me to take part in this Congress. I should say that children's education today causes many uh, disputes. Today, I would like to share with you uh, my ideas uh, of uh, uh, childhood and the use of technologies in education. Uh, uh, this is uh, built on knowledge. Activity of the preschool institutions, uh, which is uh, more than 60 years old, uh, emphasizes uh, the significance of uh, uh, preschool education. There are three areas uh, for analysis of using technologies in education and in communication uh, from the beginning of the pandemics. And also human rights. Many people think that this is obvious. So still, I would like to say that children are also citizens, and uh, they are going to become citizens in the uh, to be citizens in the future, which means that they must possess all the human rights in the family and in society. At the beginning of this year, the Committee uh, for the Rights of Children published a report number 27 uh, concerning rights of children with regard to, to digital media. And there are certain concepts in that report. Uh, firstly, the committee says that digital media today is assuming importance in almost every aspect of life, not education only, but other activities as well, be it social or economic or family. And that highlights once again how important digital technologies are, and that also results in the consequences of uh, in children's lives and uh, in the their, in their rights, especially those children who have no access to internet. An opportunity to use dig digital technologies can be a very important uh, part of development of children's rights. We know that inequality uh, uh, became stronger during the pandemics, and that's uh, one of very important challenges in today's world, in the modern world. We know that there are four principles uh, based on which uh, we consider the rights of a human linked uh, with the access to digital world, to digital media. Uh, the right for non-discrimination requires that governments uh, provided access uh, of children to education via digital media, free access and safe access. This is uh, this naturally brings to big investments and uh, big uh, costs, uh, and also uh, if uh, we uh, work against discrimination and uh, 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 bad uh, examples of application of information and uh, violation of uh, the right for private information, uh, discrimination uh, in terms of uh, uh, gender, uh, age, and economic situation. Migrant or refugees discrimination as well. We also need 
to pay attention to the right to live and to work with uh, risks of violence, cyberbullying, in the internet and uh, gambling in the internet. So what does the committee say? Using uh, digital means cannot replace personal communication uh, with peers, with family, and with the carers. That's why we need to pay special attention to that and learn the effects that uh, the effects that uh, technologies have during the first uh, years of a child's life, Maintain, maintaining and preserving uh, the so uh, people personal relations uh, around uh, relationships around the children, and we need to respect a child uh, child's uh, rights and children have their voice and children uh, can start participating in the life uh, in society very early and it's important to uh, pay attention to their points of view, uh, be attentive to it. It doesn't mean that we uh, always have uh, to track them all the time. We shouldn't violate their right for privacy, but ne nevertheless, it is important to follow all the necessary rules, making sure that the children have access to the internet and to the technologies. The process of including children uh, in the digital world uh, is uh, should be great. Uh, should be gradual and uh, they should uh, receiving their uh, and mastering their skills uh, in, in the in the internet to be independent in the future and I want to uh, draw attention to the risks this is it is important to develop policy to provide support for the parents and caregivers, uh, to, to help them become uh, digitally literate, passing their knowledge on to the young children. So what kind of rights are we, to, uh, children rights are we talking about when we talk about digital world rights? The committee, uh, uh, was very specific in that, but I want to focus specifically on the right to education in the digital environment. All of us know that the digital world can uh, help us improve access of children to um, uh, education and uh, providing better uh, equality. But when we talk about preschoolers, the use of ICTs should be adapted. It's important to invest into technologies, into infrastructure, but at the same time, it is important to invest in developing pedagogics, in, uh, in training the teachers and tutors and educators to develop education in the digital world and environment. It's important to develop uh, educational resources and work on languages. Uh, the native language is very important for development in preschool years. And, and current inequalities should not affect this development uh, to uh, like uh, we have the cases uh, with the fam in the families uh, speaking different languages or in families of the migrants 
We need to start with preschool, but even we start. We have to start even earlier with the family. And uh, digital media can become a good way of uh, introducing culture to uh, spend leisure time. And professionals and caregivers have to monitor the use of uh, digital of devices, offering accessible. Uh, and uh, proper for child use ways of uh, using those, improving children's experience and familiarizing uh, them with the culture and supporting child's development, not vice versa. It's important to suggest various appealing alternatives for children. Of course, everything depends on how and how much uh, children use digital space. And of course, they need to be offered uh, alternative uh, interactions, uh, offer them opportunity for personal interaction, person-to-person -person interaction. Uh, the right for uh, ice ICTs, the right for equal access to ICTs is important for uh, equal development of children. And in preschool years, it's not advisable to use a lot of digital tools uh, f for long periods of time without making uh, any breaks. Of course, we need to give children the opportunity to move around a bit to have and to have contacts uh, and relationships in the real world. And naturally, all of it has to be part of the general context of bringing the children up. When we are talking about uh, children, child bringing in the 21st century, we cannot uh, leave aside digital means. but. How do we dose the screen time? How we, how do, how do we deal with uh, uh, screen time control? This is the subject uh, that's being researched, uh, especially for early children. And children are very interested at looking at the screen when they are very young because it's bright. Something's moving there, and naturally, it catches their attention. And we need to find a certain balance between uh, a balance between a good amount of time spent in front of the screen and all the regular acti regular activities. And it's, it's not it's not easy, especially during the pandemic times. Of course, it affected our lives a lot and children's lives too, because children got stuck at home and many children throughout the world still have to spend a lot of time at home. And that's why naturally their screen time increased and more than half of the global population lives in the cities. And, and naturally all these people use various digital devices, they watch TVs, and many don't even have an opportunity to go outside from the building, from the house. And when the pandemic started, the states suggested uh, a solution using the using the technology, through the technology, but more than half of humankind doesn't have a laptop at home, and at least 43% don't have access to the internet from home. Of course, uh, there is a big gap between the countries. Uh, there are countries where 80% of people don't have access to the internet. Uh, mobile devices can provide access to information and can provide uh, the opportunity to, to get in touch with the teachers at school. So education shouldn't be limited to digital devices only. 
and especially it is true for the countries who have more pro uh, problems, but we all have to work together to ensure access to uh, proper education and proper technology. And at the end of my presentation, naturally comes up the question, how do we take those criteria and, how, and principles and how do we apply them in such a way that it work uh, for promoting human rights? Firstly, we, uh, us being in society, should help identify the changes and should uh, ensure changes in the legislation to guarantee uh, the use of proper ICT means use. And national policy has to have a such a goal as safe use of digital devices by children with a greater focus on children living in unfavorable conditions uh, and marginalized children and children living in poor families and so on. And the resources should be sufficient because if you do not invest in that, you cannot ensure uh, human rights being there and observed. It is also necessary to carry out research in the universities to have proper data telling us what is the influence, what specifically, what is the influence of digital devices and, the, uh, and how children use them. As for communication and how it affects the society and our opportunities, we, uh, all of us should be aware of how uh, digital communication means are used. And I must highlight the responsibility that entrepreneurs and the market uh, has that advertises uh, such devices to small children. And to conclude, I would like to get back to the ideas that I have mentioned in the beginning. Digital environment is important and it touches uh, all the aspects of children's lives. All, because all the sectors of economy depend on digital technologies. But, uh, uh, and we need to bear that in mind when we are thinking about uh, environment and we need to uh, think of human rights, of children's rights in the digital environment. and. Uh, technologies uh, should be accessible and they should be adapted to the development level. And digital technologies in the in the right amount uh, when, when presented properly uh, can help children ensuring that their rights are observed and we need to take that into account. So thank you very much for your attention. President of the OMEP, um, and one of the questions is, what is from your point of view uh, the main issues that preschool uh, pedagogy uh, should deal with now? What are the main problems uh, it should address? What should they do? Bueno, eh, no es una, una pregunta sencilla porque sin ningún... hay eh, diversos. There is one issue and actually several problems in connection with the digital world. I remember that we need to define better our pedagogical focuses, uh, our priorities. Always in the history of humankind we had different technologies and people used them in order to organize uh, the world, to explore nature and to explore a social life and so on. And I think that we need simply 
to take these new technologies and continue to, to do what we were doing, that is, uh, by using these new tools, create education and uh, learning opportunities uh, for uh, citizens who are committed to uh, environmental protection, who take care about nature uh, and uh, people who uh, think about uh, building uh, peaceful communities and uh, countries. So we need a quality leap uh, using these tools in order to improve our world and so that we could develop children in a similar way so that we had new citizens responsible for their world. We have to uh, grow them. Uh, we have to grow people who are responsible for their world and for their society. We should also cope with the problems we are really concerned with. This is uh, climate change. This is not change because of climate, but this is change which is caused uh, by irresponsible action of people who were, who took place in some countries and in some uh, industries uh, or uh, branches of economy uh, towards uh, environment and nature. Also inequality, this huge inequality and the lack of democracy which can be seen in different countries of the world. This is where I think we must uh, build our priorities, set our priorities. And I believe we must develop better the programs of education, because this is the implementation of children's rights. We should also build uh, curriculums uh, which will be uh, connected uh, and uh, uh, con well, conform with the pedagogics uh, uh, which uh, believes in uh, the activities of further uh, generations. Is how that is, we're a little bit running out of time. Uh, the audience is asking if you could uh, give some examples of uh, bringing uh, digital equality to maybe in Latin America. That will be very interesting. So what were the measures probably that were, that helped to bring this equality? Sí, sin ninguna duda hay muy buenas experiencias en todo el mundo. Y eh, justamente una de las muy buenas experiencias en In Latin America, in Uruguay, there is very good experience. Uh, big efforts uh, were made so as to improve situation throughout several years. And the children were given different gadgets, digital devices for free, but uh, this was not the only part of the program, but also educating and educating teachers on how to work with the new technologies. And this was the work which was already conducted several years ago. This is a highly innovative project in Uruguay and that's uh, what allowed to support preschool education or children's education uh, during the lockdown due to pandemics. So there was uh, the pace that was already set, we were prepared and that allowed uh, 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 going through this process uh, not so painfully and continue implementing the policies. So this was happening through technologies online and some at some points uh, children went to school so this was a mixed format of uh, education together with virtual format. But this is not typical. In Argentina we can also say they worked uh, in a very interesting way uh, with the help of uh, educational television with no propaganda um, 
uh, with a very good programs. Uh, all countries uh, made some efforts uh, in accordance with the resources available to them. And I am very optimistic, actually, despite the context in which we are now uh, in the whole world, uh, given that the time is difficult, uh, but still teachers and educational workers uh, uh, could find uh, very innovative and creative answers in order to provide for education. And that was linked with using the technologies. And also in the situations of great inequality, many of them not only supported them uh, or received support by structures and uh, uh, WHO, but they also used their phones, uh, their uh, personal internet, I mean teachers. So indeed, this is the theme which must be explored and uh, must be looked into. And of course, uh, the state policies must be implemented so that uh, they were directed uh, for the development of education because this is not the first and the last pandemics and this is not a unique situation, uh, not the only difficult situation uh, the humankind is going to face uh, during its story. Um. Uh, for the audience and uh, we will come back to another session just in five minutes.